Charlie, I'm home. Oh, hello, Charlie. Hello. <laughs> For you, my darling. How was work? Uh, oh, that old crone, Mr. Edwick, blew his top over some stray paperwork. He's been extra fussy all week. It was only a matter of time. I'll be darned. It's great to be home again. I missed you, dear. <laughs> Is there anything that my little Blue Jay has planned tonight? <laughs> I was scheduled to go get drinks with Miranda at seven. This damned rain doesn't seem to be letting up any time soon. Hmm. Well, look at the time. It's <laughs> half past six already. We should be heading out. <laughs> Don't want to keep Miranda waiting. I will be back. Before you know it. <laughs> oh, fly safe, my little bird. Oh, and send me a telegram once you get there. Belongs to my husband, why do you ask? Well, I must say, Dr. Meischle, it's a beautiful jacket. My late wife, Margaret, had a hat with the same initials embroidered on it. B.M. Isn't that odd, Dr. Meischle? She was my little blue jay. But now, I believe she was having an affair with a married man. And I think his wife was the jealous type. The cops told me that the brakes were out, but I think she was murdered. Mr. Brewer, the death of a loved one can sometimes cause survivors to conjure improbable narratives in order to deal with the emotional repercussions. How dare you! This was no accident! Mr. Brewer, I know we are coming. No, you do not! You're as fit to be a therapist as a pug is to hunt! I'm done here! This is Charlie Brewer. I'm calling to let you know that I'd like to cancel my appointment next week. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Dr. Meisler was found dead in her house this morning. The police are investigating it as a homicide. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> 